let us just wait for the signal to start. All right, awesome. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope everyone is okay and happy. Um, yeah, it's 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 good that we are together for the last day of the week, and um, we are now here learning. Uh, yeah, we are here learning, and we're trying to let us grow. It's good that we are growing and learning forever. Um, it's good that also that everyone is here to partake in the lesson. Please, one more thing, guys. Keep your videos off. Um, I promised you guys today that we're going to play Match 24. I'll explain to you how the game works. Uh, we're going to just try a few, like one or two, and then we get into the rest of the lesson that the part the, the parts that I want to because I want to show you how we integrate and manipulate numbers in order to get a particular result that we want. So yeah, I hope everyone is fine. I hope everyone is happy. You know, um we do have we do have challenges and yeah uh I I hope that after today everything will clear up for you today when we now finalize finally close um geometric patterns everything will clear up for everyone all right that being said let us go into the game i see that there are two people with questions so let me attend to that okay so there are no questions anymore it's fine since there are no questions let us get into the game of maths 24 so the whole intention, where is it? All right, here's it. So the whole intention of Math 24, right? The whole point of the game with Math 24 is to get an answer of 24, right? So you use all the numbers once, but you must get an answer of 24. I see hands. Let me respond to that quickly, then we'll continue. So, so I do know Maths 24. All right, explain it to us a bit as well. So, so Maths 24, it's like they give you random numbers and you must make those four numbers equal to 24. Awesome, 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 awesome. Thank you, thank you. Yes, that is what Maths 24 is. That is what Maths 24 is. I give you a selection of random numbers, and then out of those numbers, you need to find a way of turning it into 24. For example, if we look here, we've got, uh, where, is, uh, where is that function to make it bigger? There we go. If we look here in the example, they gave us two and two and six and eight. Let me go to the whiteboard. Where's my whiteboard? I opened it. Right. Whiteboard. Okay. Let's just wait for the whiteboard to open up a bit so I can show you how it works. So I can show you how it works. Is it opening up? It's taking some time. All right. Okay, good. It opened up for us. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So there's information from the past lesson. Right. Uh, let's do this. Right. So. I have numbers. They gave us the numbers saying, look, you have two and two. Let me just recheck the numbers so I have it right. Right, so we got two and two and six and eight. Right? And they say, out of two and two and six and eight, we want you to make a number of 24. So you can either add, subtract, 
multiply, use as many the operations as much as possible, either add, adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing together, or one, like use those operations to order to get 24. So that Then we two and six Hello. Oh, okay. So I've got two and two and six and eight, right? So I have two options, right? I can say eight minus two, right, is equal to what? Six. And six minus two is equal to what? Four. And then I take these two answers and I say, six times four is what? Six times four is what? 24. That's how the game works. You take the four numbers, the random numbers that they give you, pardon me, you take the four random numbers that they give you and you make up 24. So that's how we're going to do it. So how we're going to play is I'm going to show you up four different numbers, right? I show that up for you. And then you guys are going to tell me, you know, so you do this, you do that in the chat and then you respond in the chat. So in the chat, you're going to respond and say, um, you're going to send a message directly to me to say that, sir, to get 24, you need to first subtract or add or Whatever, how you see the operations must work to get 24. Let me use, let me use another example so that we can make sure that we, have, we understand this 100%. Let's go back here. Let me go and just steal one example quickly. I've got eight and four and four and five. Eight and four and four and five, right? So I've got eight and four and four and five. Let's go back to the whiteboard. So what I've got eight and four and four and five, right? So how do I make 24 out of eight and four and four and five? Let's make 24, just so you guys can see it. So I've got eight and eight, no, eight and four and four, yeah. Eight, let's just check it one more time. So I don't make a mistake. Yeah, eight and four and four and five. Perfect. So it's it's eight eight and four and four and five. How would I make twenty four? Let me do this one for you guys. So I can say eight minus four is equal to what? Is equal to four. Then I can say four times five is equal to what? To 20. Then I say 20 plus four gives me what? What is 20 plus four? 20 plus four is equal to? 24. Simple as that. 20 plus 4 gives me 24. Easy as that. Simple as that. 20 plus 4 gives me 24. There's another way. 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 Um, how do I blot this off? Okay, let me just do this going to try and write in the space over here. So I write, there's another way, four, four plus four is equal to what? Eight. And the eight that we have here, minus five is equal to what? Three. And what is eight times three? 
8 times 3 is what? 24. That's how the game works. 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 Yes, I see someone said 4 times 5 is 20. Um, 8 minus 4 is, to, is equal to 4. So 4, 20 plus 4 is equal to 24. That's how the game works. Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Let me take a question. Sir. Uh, yes? Uh, I was raising my hands so I can answer this question of the, this uh, oh, example. Okay, no, it's fine. I'm going to give you guys a chance now to do it. So guys, I'm going to give you a chance and then what you're going to do is that in the chat, you're going to send it to me directly, the answer, so that I can know who to unmute to answer the question. You understand? So what is going to happen is that, yeah, what we're going to do is that I'm going to pop up a question, then in the chat you're going to answer and say that, no, this is how I got 24, or this is how I didn't get 24. Right? So in the chat, in the chat, we're going to do that in the chat. We're going to do that in the chat. Right. This is how I got 24. Um, all right. So I'm going to give you guys a card. Let me give you guys a card. Uh, we're going to start off a bit, a bit easy. I don't want to go a bit hard early on, on from the onset. Right. Eight and eight and five and one. Eight and eight and five and one. Let's try that. Eight and eight and five and one. So you write in the chat the answer so I can know that I should um I should unmute you so you can respond to us. Eight and eight and five and one. Try that. Eight and eight and five and one. Eight and eight and five and one. Let's try that. Mass 24. 8 and 8 and 5 and 1. This one over here. How would I get 24 looking at that? I, I even have the answer now already. I even have the answer now already. 8 and 8 and 5 and 1. Yes, you have to use all the numbers and... Yes, you have to use all the numbers and you can only use the numbers once. Each number must be used only one time. One time. You have to use all the numbers and you can only use the numbers once. Eight and eight and five and one. How do you get 24? How did they get 24? Eight and eight and five and one. All right, I think we have someone who says they have the answer. Hello, Hello, sir. You have an answer? On how yes, sir. All right, let me go to the whiteboard and then you're going to give us the answer. Right? Okay, clean whiteboard for you. Now tell us, how did they get 24? Using, let me write out the numbers, eight, eight, and five, and one. How did they get 24? So first we're going to eight minus five. Okay. So it's equals eight. to three. Eight minus five is equal to three. And three times. Eight is equal to twenty-four. So three times eight is equal to twenty-four. Then and one times twenty-four equals to twenty-four. One times twenty-four is equal to twenty-four. You could even have said uh, twenty-four divided by one gives you twenty-four. Same answer. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 
Does anyone have another or uh, another way of doing it? Does anyone have another way of doing it? I don't really see another way of doing it, but hey, does, did anyone think of another way of doing it? Did anyone think of another way of doing it? Another way of operating the numbers to get 24. Did anyone think of another way of getting it? I see that someone said, that's 34. All right, so someone here says they have an answer. I think it's another method. Good afternoon. Hello, sir. Hello. so you have another, op another method to get 24? Yes, sir, but it's not that different. Okay, what did you do? So, sir, I did the same thing that he did. I said mm -hmm. 8 minus 5 equals 3. But then mm -hmm. I said 8 times 1 is 8. And then I said 8 times 3 is 24. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, you still followed the, the, you still followed the 8 minus 5. 8 minus 5 gives us 3. Then you said the 3 times eight you said three times eight or eight three times one no sir i said eight i said eight times one first equals eight so you said then you said eight i'll make this an eight times one equals to eight and then you went along and said eight times three gives us our beautiful 24. yes sir stunning stunning Stunning, stunning, stunning. So the one, the one is really a problem because sometimes you're going to find yourself dividing by one. Sometimes you're going to find yourself multiplying by one, but it's going to give you the same result. Someone says eight minus one is seven. Eight plus five is thirteen, but that's twenty. That's twenty. That answer is twenty. I see in the chat someone said eight plus five is 13, then eight minus one is seven. So 13 plus seven, that's going to give us 20. That's going to give us 20, not really 24. Let me give you guys another card. Let me give you guys another card, another card, another card, another card. Let me give you guys another card. Let's move right along. I wanted to have bigger numbers at least. Right. Five and seven and eight and four. 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 Let me get the whiteboard. So we've got five and seven and eight and four. Let me erase this so I can write down the numbers in preparation for you guys to answer. So we've got five and seven and eight and four give us how did they get 24 how did they get 24 five and seven and eight and four five and seven and eight and four if you have the answer show me in the chat how you got the answer If you have the answer, show me in the chat how you got the answer. Five and seven and eight and four. Five and seven and eight and four. Think about it first. Think about it very, very, very carefully first. Five and seven and eight and four. Five and seven and eight and four. If you have the answer, first show me in the chat how you got the answer. How you got the answer. First show me in the chat how you got the answer. Then we'll see how do we get an answer of 24. Okay, I think I have, we have someone who has the answer. 
I think we have someone who has the answer. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Afternoon, sir. How are you? Good, thanks. And you? I'm good. So, how did you get your answer? So, five times seven equals thirty-five. Eight mm -hmm. times plus four is eleven, and then thirty-five minus Oops. eleven. Is four. So, five times five times what? Seven. So five times seven is thirty-five, right? Yes, and then sir. what is eleven? Eight plus four. Eight plus four is twelve. Check oh. your answer. Eight plus four is twelve. But thank you, thank you so much for trying. Eight plus Sorry. four is twelve. Eight plus four is actually. Well, thank you so much for the effort. Who else do we have? Who else do we have? Who else do we have? Who has an answer for us? Who has an answer for us? Mm -hmm. Who has an answer for us? Who has an answer for us? Five and seven and eight and four. Five and seven and eight and four. Who has an answer for us, guys? Gonna cook you. I know it's gonna cook you. It's gonna cook you a bit, but this the point of this game is to teach you how to manipulate numbers to get an answer. All right. Hello? So the answer, to get the answer was simple. All you needed to do is x 8 plus 7 plus 5 plus 2. Then your answer will be 24. So how do you do it? What's 8 plus, what is 8 plus 7? Okay, 8 plus 7 is 15. And then 8 plus 5 plus 7 is 15. Then I said 15 plus 9. And you get the two so, so 5. Four plus five is, is nine. No, I'm writing, I'm writing nine days. Sorry about that. My razor. So then I say four plus five is equal to nine. And then I go 15. Nine plus 15 equals 24. Nine plus 15 is equal to my dear friend 24 9 plus 15 is equal to 24. Hmm. beautiful does anyone have another method of getting it beautiful beautiful answer beautiful answer beautiful answer does anyone have another method of getting it I know sometimes it's a bit challenging, but it's supposed to be like that. So does anyone have another method for me? Another method of getting the answer? Or it's just plus, plus, plus the whole way? And please don't, if the other method is saying seven plus eight and five plus four, I want another method probably involving multiplication or something like that. Another method like that. Does anyone have another method in that line? Going once, going twice. I think this is straightforward, but just plus, 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 plus the whole way. Right, so let us do one more card. Let us do, or oh, someone does have another method, right? Good afternoon. Afternoon, sir. How are you? I'm in June, sir. Good. So what is the other method that you have? I said 8 plus 4 equals 12. Okay. Oh, what's going on here? 
Um, let's do this. And then you said what? Eight plus four equals plus 12. 12. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Then, then? Seven minus five equals two. Seven minus five equals two. Then what did you do? 12, I, I multiplied it by 12 times two equals 24. So 12 times 2 equals 24. You're a genius. Mm -hmm. You are a genius. You are a genius. Ah, that was beautiful. That, ah, that, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. I won't, I won't, I won't lie. That, that's, I, I, I clapped my hands. This is beautiful. 8 plus 4 is 12. 7 minus 5 is 2. 12 times 2 is 24. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Right. Uh, looking at the time, one more. We are allowed for one more. We are allowed to have one more. Looking at the time, we are allowed to have one more. Just one more. Just to grill us a bit. One more. Let me see. Let me see one more, one more, one more, one more. Right, here. Four and five and three and three. Four and five and three and three. Four and five and three and three. How do I get 24? Four and five and three and three. Four and five and three and three. How will I get 24? Four and five and three and three. Four and five and three and three. How will I get 24? Let me just erase this. Think about it. So I got four, five. Let me erase here. So I write four. Five, three, and three. How would I get 24? Four and five and three and three. Four and five and three and three. Four and five and three and three. Give me 24. Help me get 24. Help me get 24. Four and five and three and three. Help me get 24. Help me get, write the answer in the chat directly to me, how you got the answer in the chat, and then I'll unmute you. Write how you got the answer in the chat and then I'll unmute you. Four and five and three and three. 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 Write in the chat how you got the answer. And then I'll unmute you. Write in the chat how you got the answer. And then I'll unmute you. Four and five and three and three. 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 Does anyone have an answer? 
Hmm. I think I have someone who has our answer. Let me see it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay. It's the same, it's the same way. So I'll just go for the person who raised their hand first. Hello. Afternoon, sir. Afternoon, how are you? I'm fine. I'm great. So how, how did you do it? I did five minus T equals two. Five minus three is equal to two, yes. Four times, four times T equals 12. Four times three is equal to our dear friend from Peter Maritzburg, 12. And 12 times two equals 24. And 12, okay, let me raise that. And then 12 times two is equal to 24. Standard, 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 standard. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I couldn't say that I have done it better. Anyone with another option on how to get 24? Anyone else with another idea on how to get 24? Um, let me just see. Hello. Hello. Afternoon. Do you have another way of getting 24? Yes. Okay. How did you do it? It will be 5 minus 3. Same 5 minus 3. Yes. Okay. So 5 minus 3 equal to? 2. All right, then. And 3. Multiply by uh, multiply by four and equals to twelve and twelve multiply okay. by so two. So three multiplied by four. four is equal to twelve, and then twelve times two. No more. Twelve times two is equal to four. Times two equals to twenty-four. All right. I actually thought of another way of doing it uh, right now. There's another way of also doing it. Same way, same way of starting with three min uh, five minus three. So you can say five minus three is equal to two. Five minus three is equal to two. Then you take this two and you multiply it to three. So you say two, uh, three times two is equal to what? To six. Then you take this six and you multiply it with four. And you say three multiply, uh, six multiplied by, by four is equal to 24. You're still using the numbers. Five minus three came from five minus three. Then I got my answer, I multiplied it by uh, five minus three, multiplied it, what months of two, two times three is uh, six times four is 24. There I got, that's, that's the one I thought of now as well. That can work. That's the one I thought of now that can also work to say, remember that six times four is 24. Someone asking why Peter Maritzburg. You must always have places that numbers come from sometimes. That's the best way to remember them. Right, so that is it, guys. The reason why we played that game is that it's to teach you how to manipulate numbers. Why? We're going to come directly into here. We are here trying to generate a rule. So we are trying to think that out of two sets of numbers, coming here, out of two sets of numbers, how do we get a rule that's going to help us? 
out of thinking to say, okay, um, here are the columns, right? Each column has a particular row. How do I move directly from saying column 29, get an answer of uh, what, how many rows would be in there? This is what we're trying to do. We're trying to learn how to manipulate numbers, how to generate such rules, how to generate this that we've been dealing with. Because we learn to say, okay, I can, I can, I can learn to say, okay, I must find what is being added here, right? It's three and three and three and three. But sometimes it becomes more complex where you need to multiply first, then add. So therefore you need to learn how to manipulate numbers. So once you learn how to manipulate numbers, you learn to say, okay, since I'm learning how to manipulate numbers, I can find out how I can move from one part to get another answer. Move from how many donuts are being so that's because it's that that's what we're trying to learn, how to manipulate numbers. Here you find that they say whole numbers are arranged in the columns like this, right? They say each column has a particular row, like row one has column one, there's one, column two, there's two, etc. In the same column one, in going to row two, there's eight, then there's nine, then. So these form patterns. This is a pattern, this is a pattern, this is a pattern, this is a pattern. Now, there'll be a, uh, there'll be a, a, a situation whereby now, you need to think about saying that looking at the patterns forming here, they're looking at the pattern forming here because it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So up to seven, then the next row starts up to eight. It ends at 14. So you can see that it's going down, it ends at uh, 14. So you know that column seven, column seven speaks to the multiples of seven because we are starting at one, we're ending at the seventh digit, but we keep on moving like that. So now we need to generate a rule. We need to generate a rule that's going to help us to say, if they're speaking about uh, number 256, where well, are we going to find it? Just by simple calculation. Because look here, it says what? It's, here it's giving us an idea to say, for me to get, uh, column seven, row four, I can just say four times, um, what's this? Four times seven is 28. But that's just for one, that's only for one column. There are other columns to decide where we need to generate such a rule. Right. Where we need to generate such a rule. So now I want to ask you guys, what let's discuss what's happening around here because i've already given you pointers but let's discuss in this grid what's going on around here in this grid how do we work out this grid so that we are able to maybe answer question number three this would be how we're going to close off today's lesson so we'll be able to answer question number three which row which column is 256 what's going on in the grid what do you guys see that's going on in the grid? What's going on in the grid? How do you feel that they're generating the answers to say that in column one, row four, we're going to find 22. In column two, row four. Because remember that we don't want to land up counting, 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 counting up to 256 to find out which column it belongs to. So. What roles do you think are busy playing here? What, what can we say about this grid? As we've been learning about patterns and also been learning, because I can tell you to say that row of, column seven is the multiples of, of um, is the multiples of seven, right? Column seven itself is the multiples of seven. If we look at, let me move here. If we look at um, column six, what you're doing to get the following number is that you're adding seven. Column six, what you're doing to get your following number is that you're adding seven. 
Column five, what you're doing to get your following number, you're adding seven. Column three, what you're doing to get your following number, adding seven. So we can see to say, oh, okay. As we're moving along right here, I'll keep on adding sevens, seven, 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 seven. That's what I'm saying. What do you guys see? What do you guys see? Hello? 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 Yes, sir. What do you see? Oh, my brother. What do you see? Oh, unless my hand raised up, I forgot to uh, okay, it's take fine. it out. It's fine. it's fine. It's fine. What do we see, guys? How would we be able to answer in which row and which column is the number 256? How would we be able to answer that? Because, yes, we can see that per row it ends at seven, but to do one, two, three, four, five, up to 256, it's going to take you forever. So we want to generate a rule. Yes, uh, I see one, one person says, yes, they keep on counting. But do you want to count up to 256? What time? All right. Let's just go to the answer. So the rule that they were, they were, that they were using is that starting with column seven, each column as they go down, they generated a rule of saying it's multiplied by seven minus six, multiplied by seven minus five, multiplied by seven minus, et cetera. So um, the, the, they generated these rules saying that we are always going to multiply by seven. And as you go down, as you go, as, as starting from column one, as you go down, you're going to add and it's zero because these obviously are the multiples of seven. And to get to 256, they saw to say that they generated that rule in order to get to the answer of 256. Um, let me go directly to the homework. But it's all about generating a rule. I hope we understood that part. Here is your homework. Here is your homework. Here is your homework, guys, same thing. You're going to look at uh, pattern one, shapes number one, it's three, it has three sticks, etc. You're going to actually look for rules. Each time you're going to be looking for a rule, how do they get a rule to get the, the answer of how many mesh sticks follows, just as what we've been learning. Just as what we've been learning, how you're getting rules to get the number of mesh sticks. That's all we're doing. Are there any questions? Here is the worksheet. Please take the, uh, please take, please take the, please take this down. Please take a screenshot of this. Here is your homework. Please take a screenshot of this. I am very proud at you guys that you are actually trying and you are actually learning. Um, please try this. Because what we want is to leave you guys understanding. And what I want you guys to do is that I want you guys to start learning how to generate rules. That's all. I want you guys to start learning how to generate rules, how to create the rules, how to find the rules, how, 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 how. Please take a screenshot of this. This is your homework. Guys, thank you so much for everything. Thank you so much for, for attending. Uh, this is your homework for the weekend. And yeah, you can also, there's, there are also, there's an online MES24 generator. So if you want to test out MES24 on your own, there's an online MES24 generator as well that you can try on your own as well. I could even give you one for, for actually let me give you one. One that you guys should try uh, on your own just for the weekend. Think of triple five and one. It's going to take you some time, but think about it. Triple five and one to get 24. Triple five and one to get 24. So it's five, five, five and one to get 24. And if you get the answer, you can email it to me. If you get the answer, you can email it to me. 
So the one that I would want you guys also to try in the weekend with your homework is triple five and one. Don't take you some time. It took me some time as well. So think about it. It's five, comma five, 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 and one. Think about it. Triple five and one. But that's it from me, guys. I love you all. Stay blessed. Stay super. Goodbye. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.